Hello guys, let's go. My name is Darren and in today's video I'll be taking a look at the Shadow Priest and the new ability or an old school ability being brought back to the spec, Devouring Plague. I want to try ask myself and answer in this video all the questions that you guys might have in terms of what does it feel like, how does it play, is it any good, is there potential with this ability and does it fix Priest right now in the alpha. Blizzard added this ability in order to try address further concerns with priests. For the most part, I think majority of the community is waiting for a massive overhaul for how Shadow Priest plays, because this pack for two expansions now have relied on either artifact weapon or certain Azeroid traits in order to be relevant, and outside of having borrowed powers, it just hasn't really been feeling as good and coherent as some of the other specs in the game. Highly doubt one ability is going to change things massively for the spec, so hopefully in the future we'll still have more big changes as it is the alpha. Let's take a look at this ability. So, Devour and Plague is a back. Blizzard wanted to bring it as a damage over time ability very similar to how it was, but change its focus. Back in the day, Devour and Plague was actually one of your biggest abilities, and the last time I really truly played with this ability was back in Warlords of Janor. Back in WoD, you would build Shadow Ores by pressing Mind Blast and then using Devouring Plague whenever it was available. It was kind of your priest's big ability. You would drop it down on an enemy with all the big cooldowns, and that would be the dot that kind of rots down the enemy. Unless I'm wrong, this ability has been in the game since Vanilla WoW, but for Priest, it only was available to Undead Priest and eventually got incorporated into Baseline Spec. But for the last two expansions of Shadowlands as well as Legion, this ability has been dormant with Priest getting a whole complete rework. This ability is being brought back for Shadowlands in the form of the same dot being also a disease. Certain aspects of it, like the healing upon ticking damage, are not working right now so that's something for blizzard to change in the alpha we're not sure exactly how much damage this ability is supposed to do as the damage it does compared to the tooltip are completely off and the ability also costs 50 sanity it is added in the game as a unique niche ability in order to burst down enemies that are going to die way too quickly before you are able to gain into void form with void form still being the major mechanic that as a priest you would want to essentially use so first question is, how much damage does this ability do? Is it actually worth the sanity to use? So there's something a bit weird about this ability in terms of the tooltip and the actual damage. The tooltip says this ability will do about 600 damage up front and then about 415, 417 damage as a damage over time over 12 seconds. Instead, this ability still retains this upfront cost of 600 damage, but instead it has four ticks throughout 12 seconds and every one of those ticks it's for 415. So altogether, the damage over time for this ability is about 16,000, and with the initial upfront damage together makes for about 2,000 at a level 60-ish character. In comparison, your Void Bolt hits for almost 2,000 damage for your Priest, so I guess this ability does rot down the enemy quite a bit. We are not sure if this ability is now doing too much damage or if it's doing normal damage and the tooltip is simply wrong. So that's something for Blizzard to adjust in the next alpha cycle. But we will still treat this ability as it is with the idea that this is probably how Blizzard intended for us to play this ability. The cost for this ability is 50 sanity. So if you are non-talented where you can activate void form at about 60-ish sanity or so, then this ability I guess for the damage it does and the sanity that it takes, it is a little faster to output upfront damage than to gain all the sanity needed in order to enter void form. This ability isn't the most expensive ability either, in a way. You can actually go into void form and then drop DP on the enemy immediately and then still be able to maintain sanity for quite a while since the sanity drain doesn't really ramp up until in the later stages of your void form. As for how this ability feels to play with, well, without having any kind of recount or logs, I guess it feels kind of okay. It gives you an extra ability to dump your resources into, and as a Shadow Priest sometimes you're, let's say, doing dungeon trash packs, and there's enemies that won't really live for too long, you could dot everything up, blast a couple of mind blasts at the enemies, hit them with a mind seer or two for a bit of AoE damage, and then whatever sanity you gain, dump it into DP, spreading it over multiple enemies. 
not gonna lie the play style of being able to multi dot a bunch of enemies in a trash pack is kind of fun i think it's a little bit more enjoyable than having to ramp up into the whole new void form and then start blasting void bolts because you know when you go into void form and then leave void form it's not like you get a lot of value out of it also for praise to be the most effective in dungeon groups like mythic pluses if you're really trying to be competitive the actual best way to play priest is going to be to ramp into void form right and then have your tank pull from one set of pack as soon as die into the next so whatever buffs you have while in void form you can just kind of ramp into the next group whatever it's buffs that you get for coming out of void form like lingering insanity haste or while still being in void form just take it from one trash pack into the other and then just kind of continue chaining enemies so dp does give you the opportunity to just kind of deal with the current trash pack without having to invest so much into it and as long as the damage numbers work then this could technically solve some of those issues shadow priest might have in certain trash packs the damage part of it which we actually can log and i don't really want to harp on damage too much because again it's something that can be addressed by blizzard the damage is sometimes high i found myself if i'm really ramping for a weird combo on a boss fight which offers me a completely different play style then dp can be quite decent in those situations and i guess it can do a little bit of damage to adds as well as long as the dot actually gets its full tick through but it doesn't really do enough damage to the point where i'm just doing noticeably more priest i maybe is just going to be one of the specs that isn't going to be good at trash damage to begin with and maybe going to be really good on boss damage but for what blizzard designed this ability to do to solve this whole issue of not having enough sanity in order to really ramp up and really take enemies down this quickly so devour and plague is at it in order to deal with trash packs and questing mobs quite efficiently it kind of works but the damage just doesn't feel efficient enough yet now is this ability going to change your playstyle at all Originally, Blizzard added this as a small ability to use in niche situations, and this isn't intended to be a regular ability to be used in boss fights when you're trying to burst down a raid boss or anything. However, it can be used, and I've used it quite a lot in dungeons. There were certain moments where I just have so much sanity building, I might as well throw a DP on there if I can. It actually feels kind of natural to be able to weed this ability into your void form and it isn't difficult whatsoever when you pop void form you can use dp immediately it'll cost a bit of sanity but you can catch up pretty quickly but this ability was not intended to be used with your void form it's actually to be used when you don't want to use your void form and in dungeon situations and maybe it could be gear maybe that's something that blizzard just needs to do a little bit of balancing for i guess in some dungeon situations i try to use it for trash bags i try to use it for bosses it feels quite good to use this ability together with a boss because well you get all that sanity at the very beginning of a void form you'll pop in a void form you have 100 sanity you're burning into dp but because void form isn't super ramped it doesn't drain nearly as much sanity so you can catch up to your needed sanity a little bit later so the ability is a new ability that you kind of do want to press or at least it feels like it should be able to weave into that play style but it doesn't and very quickly do you just kind of use this ability when you i guess feel like you don't need to ramp into void form even though this ability even though it looks like it's maybe over tuned it's over buffed it doesn't really feel quite as strong or impactful as going into a full void form even on a trash bag that will probably die within seconds of you touching it it is kind of a long dot so this ability is what 12 seconds over damage over time within those 12 seconds you can actually get into whole void form and at least hit everybody with a void eruption which is an aoe ability so you can kind of cleave multiple enemies that are super stacked together so this ability isn't really used as a quick way to do a lot of damage in a very short moment it is damage that will kind of tick out over time so there's just a little bit weirdness to it i feel like with the way that they added void form and this would need to go through a bit of balancing in order to be good but the way it is currently if you were to freeze snapshot where shadowlands alpha is out now and try to ask yourself how does void form or how does dp feel in the current play style that we have for shadow priest I would say this ability doesn't actually change your playstyle that much. You might throw this ability out in a dungeon or a raid for a certain trash pack, but in most cases, it's just so much more value for a priest just to get into void form. Just because at least in void form, you have a stack and haze buff and you get to use void bolt, which is quite a bit of your damage right now, at least in comparison. So you kind of would use this ability sometimes, but it's no biggie if you forget about it completely. 
This ability is mostly used in leveling in order to be able to get some damage without having to ramp into your void form. But as I said again, the damage over time aspect of 12 whole seconds for it to get the full value with Elastic being on the very last second with the way that this ability is set up, it doesn't feel like it's fast damage. It still takes a bit. So those 12 seconds of you having to wait out for the dot to fully tick out its four ticks, which is interesting because I'm pretty sure they're going to end up having to change it. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be uh, four massive ticks. It's going to be like eight ticks that are much smaller that are happening more consistently or something like that. But it's just not a quick enough ability for leveling. If you're just trying to get from one mob to the other, it's just not quick enough. I think at some points you might as well just bite the bullet and go into the full void form and get that void eruption get that void bolt and then go void bolting as many things as you can while you have it just kind of trying to ramp yourself from one trash back into the next and into the next but that's just the current version of the shadowlands uh alpha this early alpha devouring plague ability intended to be as more of a a quick hitter ability mostly utilized for questing it does work kind of okay and when they enable the healing it could be good in some key scenarios but i don't think it's going to be a big playmaker in dungeons or raids now, I would like to give you guys my opinion on what I think Blizzard should do with this ability. I think they should try to design Devouring Plague to be used in conjunction, together with your Void Form, rather than instead of your Void Form. The ability itself is kind of fun to juggle, I'm not gonna lie. With all the different tools that priests are getting, like Power Infusion, which is supposed to give you extra sanity generation right now in the Alpha, it doesn't, I don't know if Blizzard went back on it, but even the haste it provides already gives you extra sanity generation. So using this ability and a couple other talents, you can actually play around the playstyle where you want to stay in Void Form for as long as possible, while at the same time trying to maintain DP on enemy for as long as humanly possible. This speeds up the gameplay and it's kind of a fun playstyle trying to manage your resources in a very snapshot bursty playstyle compared to a normal playstyle the shadow playstyle where it's all about slow and sustained damage and trying to really ramp up for the late game instead void form is up burst as much as i can which kind of flips the playstyle a bit on the table it's an extra button for you to use as well and it's another thing for you to manage it makes the whole sanity generation and playstyle a little bit less predictable or at least a little bit more sporadic i guess is the best way to put it and for me i found fun with it even though that is not the mechanic that is intended. However, I could totally imagine it. Or maybe Blizzard could do something like this. Keep the whole sanity generation mechanic, right? So you, you gain sanity, you go into void form, you lose insanity, you have void bolt, and just about every ability gives you sanity, right? So keep it exactly as it is with the current playstyle, even allowing Shadow Word Death to be used outside of just an execute. Just because it's a fun ability to be used as instacast and does help mobility of a Shadow Priest, right? But every three Mind Blasts, you build up a buff, and once you have those three stacks of a buff, you get to use Devour and Plague. You can even make Devour and Plague be not an ability that increases how much sanity you gain, but rather slows down the sanity loss. So as a priest, you can kind of use Devour and Plague during certain key situations as you build on your sanity stacks and void form. Once it really starts to get rampant and really, really hard, you already have those three stacks of Mind Blast saved up. You'll use Devouring Plague to slow it down so you can stay in there a little longer. I think something like this would be cool for like an experienced Shadow Priest versus a non-experienced Shadow Priest. An experienced Shadow Priest will be able to manage the Mind Blast stacks better and know exactly when to use Devouring Plague to slow down your sanity loss in order to kind of stay ahead of sanity. Kind of like playing chess with yourself between you and the sanity bar. But that's just an idea getting thrown out there. And I know it's not the most original. It's basically reincorporating the playstyle of a wide priest back into the legion priest. I am not against the whole mechanic of maintaining your sanity. I think it was a cool mechanic added in legion. I just think a lot of the fun elements of it were stripped away. First it was stripped away with us losing the artifact weapon as all the other specs did in legion. But that's fine. However, what replaced that system wasn't that much better in terms of your BFA playstyle. With traits and essences really trying to fill out the gaps, but that's exactly what they did. They filled out gaps. They didn't fill out a coherently good system. They filled out something that was just kind of missing, that wasn't complete. And that's definitely something for Blizzard to ratify. Again, I think we're all waiting for Shadow Priest complete reworks. I don't think Shadow Priest are going to come out exactly as they are. And if they did, it'll be a little bit tragic. So that's going to be my two cents about Devouring Plague and how it plays right now on the Shadow Priest. 
Overall, it's an ability I want to press a lot more often. It's kind of fun. I'm not really sure if it does the right amount of damage, and maybe it's a little overtuned. But with having so many more instant cast abilities as a priest, I actually kind of like it. If that was the playstyle, and it's kind of if that's where we were heading into the new Shadow Priest of Shadowlands, I think I would actually be kind of okay with it. But I don't think that maybe Dvaran Plague should be more incorporated as a regular used ability rather than something that just used kind of from time to time. As right now, I think the current version of it just doesn't work. So I'm looking forward to what Blizzard is going to do with Dvaran Plague in the future of Shadowlands. But thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really do hope you enjoyed. You guys let me know your thoughts and comments below. And I'll see all of you guys in another video.